I'm Asian and I love Alibaba. They have these super turbo chargers. All you do is plug it in and literally in under 30 seconds, this thing just charges. That's one of the great things. The other thing is five star reviews. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Rodney Reyes, and today we are taking a look at this product, which is Smokescreen. Um, the title card has Smokescreen, behind there is the actual instructions, I really like that. This is the actual device, I'm gonna show you this real quick. My hands are really small, but I can tell that this gimmick fits snug into the palm of my hand, so we'll talk more about that. Comes with the fluid right here, that's a lot of fluid. The USB and a couple of tools like an extra wig and a tool for that. I'm loving it so far. So I'm gonna take a look and open up smoke screen. Look at this. This is amazing because I can tell there is a reservoir right here that has the wick. Behind here, there is a USB charge, and right here is an on-off switch. When I turn it on like this, blue LED light signals that it's on and I'm assuming this is the trigger. Oh, that's beautiful, that's great. The smoke comes out and it's not like this crazy billowing smoke. It looks like the type of smoke that really accentuates your magic. I like practical effects and I know if I'm gonna use something practical, it's gonna be in my repertoire. This right off the bat, I can tell is a practical gimmick. This also has a metal plate. That means the metal plate is good with a magnet you can press a magnet against there. That's cool, you know what? I can actually just think about ways to ditch this by utilizing a magnet to come in and out of play. This feels phenomenal because it's so small, I can hide it and conceal it into any, pretty much any object that I can place right on top of the gimmick. And then when I'm done, I just toss it in my pocket, boom. It's not these large tubing, so I feel literally free. The reason why I would use this is because I literally feel that this is not too cumbersome in my pocket. I'm always worried about how many gimmicks am I holding, and right off the bat, how many of these gimmicks take up enough of my pocket space where I have to think, well, which one of these gimmicks should I worry about bringing to a gig? I'm a fan of this. Really love the easy aspect of just putting it in and out of play. But I wanna ask you something. I wanna ask you one question. If you had this in your hands, what would you create? 